Now, you're, okay. you're not religious. Yeah, you respect other religions. Yeah. Do you believe in God? To an extent, yeah. I'd what does that mean? Do. You believe in a God? I'd say I do. I'm just not like baptized or anything <coughs> like that. Anything to do with that. No. It's just in the family line that they just didn't do it. I guess. I'm not a fan of baptism, anyways, because. Yeah. I don't think my family is evil, so... Yeah, because um, I don't see the necessity of it. Um, I don't even see Jesus Christ teach that. Um, but anyways, regardless of that, you believe in God. Now, what does God want from you and me? Do you believe God has given us a, like, a way of life, commandments, a to-do list, do this, don't do this? Yeah, you don't sound very convincing. All right, let's start. I'm not too knowledge to it. <coughs> no, no, because it's down to what you believe. Does the God you believe in, because you believe in a creator, impact you on a day-to-day -day basis? I don't. Do you have a personal God? As in, does <coughs> right now you believe in a God? What does God want from you? Did God create us purposelessly? Everything you do, there's a purpose behind it. Why would God create us without a purpose? Do you think God created you and me without purpose? No. Okay. Now, would God tell us what that purpose is? In ways. Yes. In what ways? How your life turns out, I guess. So I would argue. Okay. I would argue through prophets and messengers. So God sent men chosen by God to articulate and to be an example of how we should live. Once they die, the message lives on through a perfect book, which I would argue you're holding in your hands. It's the Quran. Yeah? Um, the message is perfect. It's been perfectly preserved. It talks about prophecy, gets it right. Talks about science, the expert on it. Talks about history, gets it right. There's no mistakes in it. This book, the Quran, <coughs> We have a carbon dated Quran in a university in Birmingham. You can Google it, BBC done an article on it, where it's carbon dated to the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. What language does the Prophet Muhammad speak? Arabic. The Quran is in Arabic and what you have is in translation of the Quran in English. So right now, I'm saying you believe in a creator, why don't you start connecting with the Creator? Why don't you worship the Creator rather than worshipping your feelings, your desires, man-made things? For example, yeah. <coughs> um, sorry, personal question. Are you working at the moment? Yeah. yeah. Do you go to work on time? Yeah. Why? Like, not on time, but like... Not late? Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you're able to um, obey your employer, but you can't obey the creator. Does it make sense? You do all of this for money. Who created this money and this whole system? Does it make sense? Who's giving you your eyes, your lungs to breathe with? And yet you're not grateful to the creator. You're not, create, you're not connecting with the creator. So I'm saying that, look, you're holding a perfect book from God, how easy is it to disprove it's not perfect? Well, I don't know, I understand what that means. How quickly can you disprove something's not perfect? It's easy. If something's not perfect, you can prove it's not perfect. If, if the Quran's got a mistake in it, a contradiction in it, it'll be easy for you to see it. Like, oh, here it says one thing, here it says something different. Oh, this doesn't make sense. This goes against what we understand. Does it make sense? I'm, I'm, I'm welcoming you to read the Qur'an to put it through your test of to verify if it's right. How do you feel about everything I've said? I don't know. My brain's just kind of gone blank, I guess. No, no, that's fine. So I'll tell you something. Look. I don't do well with information. It overloads my head. 
uh, and I've given you a lot of information, but you haven't disagreed with anything I've said. I wouldn't ever disagree with anything, like, when it, if it's to do with any religion. I wouldn't say to them it's wrong. Just respect it on my behalf. No, no, but that's a good position to have, but I feel like there are some things which is right and there are some things which is wrong. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, with all due respect, yeah, to say that God became a man yeah. is wrong. I'm sorry. No, I'm being... I don't believe God is not a person. God is a higher being. Yeah. So I'm saying some Christians, not yourself, would believe God became a man and died on the cross. Oh, I've never heard anyone say that. Yeah, no, that's, that's the belief. Does it some, make sense? Some, some the... beliefs, yeah. Yeah. So I would have to say that belief will take you to hellfire and we need to reconcile it, we need to um, challenge it, we need to verify if it's true. And if Jesus Christ didn't say, look, I'm God and I became flesh. Um, there's many places where Jesus Christ... Have you got, can you get the umbrella, Please. Oh, we really do have to go. The hair what time, what time is your hair appointment? No, the hair shop's closing soon. Yeah, uh, no problem. Madam, what's your name? Jess. Jess, my name is Ridwan. Emily. Emily, Ridwan. When you have a chance, uh, you come back on next Saturday when the weather's improved. Yeah, see, I'm bringing an umbrella for you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, when the weather's improved next Saturday, we can continue. Yeah. Have a think about what I've said, Jess. Have a think about what I've said in the Quran, I mean. Um, any questions? And yeah, to be continued. Thank you. Is it so okay much. if you just cut out my bit? Um, can we leave it in but blur you out? I'd rather it not be in there if that's okay. Yeah? Alright, uh, that's fine. I'll speak to the Thank brothers, you. inshallah. Yeah? No problem. <coughs> Your father or to God? To God. So, what did God teach? What did Jesus Christ teach? Do you have the Bible on you? Yeah? Do you not have both? Do you have Bible app on your phone? Okay. No problem. No, that's fine. When you get home, you can look it, or I'll show you using um, my phone as well. Now, is that okay? I don't have time. You don't have time. Sorry. Then do this very quickly. Have a look in the Quran. It teaches there's only one God, and we worship the Creator, not the creation. Jesus Christ never said He is God. Even in John 17:3. In the Bible, you'll see that, look, he's saying he was sent by the only true God. So he's saying he's separate from God. Um, nowhere in the Bible does it teach Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the one God. It doesn't teach this. Um, so you're Orthodox Christian, right? Yes. Okay, no problem. When you got more time, we'll speak. We're here every Saturday, madam. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. You take care. Bye now.